Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am doing a quick review of my Louis Vuitton passport holder. Uh, this was actually taken after I've um, filmed the what's in my travel bag. I thought I might as well just do this review since I have nothing much to do. <laughs> anyway, I got this um, passport holder. I've taken out all my um, the contents inside because just now I actually completed the filming of um, this video but I realized that towards the end of it I accidentally flaunt my face on the video which cannot be used so I had to retake this all together so I got this passport holder back in 2014 I believe back in Rome when I was there for a business trip actually this was a gift for my husband but he decided to give it to me uh, because my coach um, passport holder is was disintegrating and I told him I wanted to get a Louis Vuitton and he did and he volunteered to to give this to me instead because he has another um, passport holder which is a Mont Blanc passport holder we are both frequent travelers for work so uh, that's why to us indulging in a passport holder makes sense uh, because we used it almost every other week um, of the month so uh, considering that this is actually a two year old passport holder you can tell that the wear and tear on the uh, passport on the holder is rather minimal it's either because my husband is has been careful with with his with this holder or the quality of this holder is really that great um, I mean of course if you compare with uh, how my coach is um, it has become which I don't have it with me right now because I am not in Singapore you I would definitely think that this is more value for money but of course a um, coach passport holder and the cost of this Louis Vuitton is really different um, the coach is just about 10% of what I paid for this. I bought this two years ago and I believe I paid more than 200 euro for this for this thing for this thing which I don't even think that it's made of leather at all. okay so the the, the passport holder has these two slots here on the left and one on the right for you to put the slot in the front cover of the passport and the back cover of the passport into here as, as a catchment for the passport itself. There are also one, two, three, four slots that you can use to place your cards or um, your um, other receipts or whatnot whenever you need you to have easy access um, for your traveling. I don't put my boarding pass here. I will usually, you know, um, clip, slot it in between my passport because that would make it much easier for the security to check, uh, go through the checks when whenever I need to. So I don't usually slot them in. So um, this is how it looks like. You, if, if you are seeing on the screen, you might think that the color of my video is really different because this is not the typical brown Damia Ibin print but it's not because I chose the grey uh, Damia Ibin print uh, I don't know how it is there a special name for it but this is a dark grey Damia Ibin print which I really like because I think it's a lot much cooler for a man not that the brown one is not cool for the man but I think this is a change from the typical brown Damia Ibin print uh, yeah, so that's it. I have nothing much to say except that so far I approve of the quality and I really like it and I think for a frequent traveler you should invest in a good travel uh, passport holder. So thank you for coming to this video. I hope you liked it and I hope you will get one of yours very soon. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!